Hey man, sorry to have to talk about this, but you know we have to talk about it, and you know what it is, it's the church shooting in Texas, uh, 26 people dead, uh, as, as usual, there's people screaming about the guns, a, a, a Ruger 556 didn't, didn't kill 26 people in Texas, liberalism killed 26 people in Texas, liberalism is the most destructive, deadly force in the history of man, uh, all of the, the various ideologies that, that, that come from liberalism and, and atheism and humanism and secularism, they're all just nihilism. They're all people, it's all ideologies where individuals are the highest good they know. There's nothing greater than, than those individuals. And I don't care what they say, that's, that's the truth. You know, there's, there's no way around it. If, if the greatest, I don't want to say greatest good, if the greatest thing in your life is what you experience, then you're the greatest good. Uh, communism alone supposedly killed 65 million people last century. Uh, environmentalism killed millions and millions and millions of people when it when it derailed the effort to uh, s silent spring and Rachel, what's her face, you know, stop the fight against malaria. Uh, millions, millions of people have died from malaria since then. When, when we eradicated it in America, we, we we had malaria deaths in America as late as 1935, I think, 36. We could have eradicated malaria worldwide, or at least you know driven it way back down. Uh, but the environmentalists, you know, said, oh, no, you know, we, we can't do that. We got to save birds uh, and, and, and hundreds, I don't, I don't know, millions, untold millions of people have died since. Uh, when I'm going to talk about feminism and abortion, uh, all, all the various isms, fascism is a liberal concept. It, it grew out of humanism and, uh, and atheism and, and Nietzsche and all those guys were, were tied into each other, Darwin. They all fed each other in this ugly, angry mess they created. Uh, so when, when this, this punk kid, this, this atheist, walked into that church Sunday, he, he wasn't killing people with bullets, he was killing people with ideology. Uh, and you all, you got to remember that. They're going to tell you it's your guns. It's not your guns. It's their ideology. They, they, they are the death dealers. All right. Uh, the culture we have that's dying, that, that's torn apart by opioids and alcoholism and obesity and suicide and, and all this craziness that's killing our society. This has all come about through liberalism and, and through all their, their insane, stupid ideas. They're the, they're the killers. All right? You're not the killer. Bill Ruger didn't kill anyone today. All right? Atheism, secularism... Nihilism. At the end of the day, nihilism. A young man who saw nothing bigger in the world than himself. What what he experienced, what he thinks, what he feels, what he wants, he was the biggest thing in his world. Uh, and he couldn't understand when things didn't go his way. That is the root of that anger. That, I, I mean, what do I know? I, I, I believe that's the root of that anger. When you think you're God, how dare anyone, and you are God when you're the greatest good, when the only thing that matters is what you think and what you experience, you know, you, you're God because you're all that matters because because there's nothing outside of you that's not any any bigger than you are. It's all random mistake. It's all, you know, monkeys evolving from mud and headed back to mud. Uh, anyway, I'm getting a little spun up. There's a few things to take away from this for our side. The general militia concept was uh, validated in this instance. Uh, local armed men uh, uh, confronted him, possibly even killed him. You know, it may have been the local armed men who, who wounded him, members of the general militia, whether they know it or not, pursued him, followed him, reported his, his location to law enforcement. Who knows where he could have gone next, what he might have done next. Uh, there, there is no doubt that the general militia was was validated today and and most likely saved lives certainly brought the whole situation to a faster swifter conclusion uh, and and saved law enforcement from from danger so general militias concept works and men then the next the next point grows from that and I'm a hypocrite I don't I don't carry away from the house uh, we don't have constitutional carry in Georgia 
and I, I don't like the idea of applying for a, a weapons carry permit, and so I don't I don't carry normally, but it may be time. If we just we got to start doing it, man. We got to start doing it. Yeah, this is the second church shooting in the in recent days. Uh, you know, obviously, Las Vegas just happened. Uh, we we saw this weekend that that armed men can defuse the situation, not def I don't want to say defuse the situation because 26 people are dead, but but can mitigate the situation and, and it's time for us to do it. Guys, there's a lot I want to talk about. Saudi Arabia uh, is, is, is a big deal right now. We've got our firewood challenge coming up, or not coming up, that we're doing right now that I had wanted to talk about today. Uh, we've got this rifle video coming up that I'm really excited about, but this was important. And the takeaway is this, guns didn't kill 26 people in Texas. Liberalism killed 26 people in Texas, and the militia was validated. Uh, they, they don't know it, but, but the militia was called out. They might know it. I don't, I don't know these guys. Uh, there were two of them. One hasn't been identified yet. Uh, the other has, uh, uh, and I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, Lagendorf or Lagendorf or something. Whoever it was, the man stood up when, when the call came, so good on him. And the other guy as well. Uh, uh, so, so the, the militia was was validated today, and, and we've all got to start thinking in that that direction. These are trying times, you know. Hard times make for hard men, and uh, it's time for all of us to get just a little bit harder. Appreciate you, man.